Well, we're back. Yep. <laughs> was it two days later? Um, I did come and I'll roll in some footage. I was a little depressed yesterday. I did come and they weren't taken to the frames. Hey guys. All right, so I'm just gonna light a couple of these little pellets. We don't have anything dry around here to burn, so. Hopefully this will last long enough. Bear it. That's one thing the little vents are going to come in handy for. But Barrett, I see them coming and going. So that's a good sign. The thing that I was worried about was, well, that's coming out. Oh, they are getting it. Look, Barrett, come, come here. Can you see them? Yep. They are getting the nectar. <coughs> hey, be thankful for that smoke, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> this one needs better holes in it. So what I'm going to do, Let's come over here. Okay, so Barry, one of the things I was worried about was like this lid didn't have any good holes in it, so I'm just going to poke some better holes. And then I think this syrup's a little too thick, so I'm going to add some water to it. Not a whole lot because I don't want it to run out into the hive. And I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna check it. You know on Tuesday we'll come when we come back mm -hmm. we'll check it. The only thing is Oh it'll stop, see it'll stop once the water pressure builds up on it. Oh that's interesting. Yeah, it'll be okay. The beans are in there good. See if you can look down in there, Barrett. See? Yep. So that's a good sign. And uh, they're flying. One thing I wanted to do was check the barometer. <laughs> the last time I was here, can you see that? They were not flying. It's about 29 uh, pounds per square inch now, um, the pressure. And they weren't flying it a little bit below that. So that. I don't know if you can see that, that red needle. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll show that in a minute. So I'm going to kind of track, just for my own educational purposes. What I'd like to do is get, um, can you hold the smoker for a second? Yep. Oh good, there's not that many in here. To get the dead bees out, those are from when we first came. I need to get that queen uh, thing. Yeah, I can't see with this veil on. One's checking me out. <laughs> I'm glad I got the stuff on. Wow, look at all those. Okay, hey, what I'd like to do is get is this just supposed to chill them out or or what yeah it's, uh, oh. i gotta get this back down it's like they definitely started to build something though
All right, watch out. I don't want to get any, anybody squished. All right, what they've started doing, I'm gonna have to get the help of a beekeeper, I guess, is So Barrett has... I'm on a mission. On a mission. What you're going to do is you're going to reach in and grab the box, since you got the gloves, <laughs> and we're not going to shake it or anything. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set it right outside front here, and then we'll close the high back up and leave them alone, okay? Because right. I don't want to disturb them too much. They're just getting established. So let me get the smoker. One of the problems is it rained and all of our dried grasses uh, not dry, so we're having to basically use these pellets. They don't last that long, so let me get it fired back up and then we'll go. So what I'll do is I'll man the smoker uh, and the camera. Yeah. Did you step in it? No. <laughs> All right, Barry, come on. Let's raise this up and prop the lid open first. All right, so I think <laughs> uh, raise this board up right here. Just slowly. Is that the one they were on? Okay, so now stop. Okay, raise it up. Just hold it there, dude. Well, this wasn't the plan. <laughs> They calm down for Yeah, well, we smoke them, but now what we're going to do is lay this out here. And hopefully the queen's not there. Smoke them a little bit. Ah, no, no, no. Lay that back down. There you go. I meant these guys. No. I didn't mean the whole. <laughs> okay. So you smoke a little bit while I arrange the boards back. Smoke and all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. Okay, I got them out. I can do this, Dad. Okay. Mission accomplished, right? Well, what I'm going to have to do, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try to smoke these guys off this. Okay, Barrett. Now look, through, now look at the hole. They're flying up to the hole, so. So let's move back now. Thing I want to make sure of is I know the queen's not on here. I see a drone. I see two drones. Three drones. Oh crap. They're all huddled right here, Barrett. I think I need to shake these in there. Okay. So can I do it? Uh you're a daredevil, Dad. I ain't a daredevil. It ain't that big a deal. I'm afraid I saw them huddled around the queen. But I don't understand that because they were building a comb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to shake these off in here. Yeah. And then put this back on. And then these, that looked, that was a good shake, baby. Yeah, that was a good shake. Most of these came off. And now they can just, they'll fly back. So now let me try to get these guys off. These are some of the dead bees that were in the little crate. 
Go fly away, little bee. Bee fly. 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 <laughs> Don't want to get caught in here. Alright, here, hold this. <laughs> Alright. No more today. You're right, Dad. <laughs> I think that was a pretty good thing. I looked on there and I saw a clump of bees. It looked like they were all like pointed in the same direction around another bee. And I was afraid they were on top of the queen. So I think that worked pretty well. Let's see if we can get them doing a little dance. Dad, you can see comb starting to be built if you look in this window. That's what I was asking you if you had got on video. I'm not sure I got the actual comb, but I know I got a <laughs> bunch of bees. See what they're saying. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. And these guys are the only ones that are left outside. So they'll figure it out here in they're a minute. They're building comb on the frame. Like on top of the board, they're not building comb inside the frame. That's the problem, and that's why I was worried. See? I'm hoping. Need a lot in there, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> on this, there's a board right here, and when you raise it up, they're building comb on it. So this may turn into a true top bar hive. <laughs> but uh, that is really cool, though. Won't be long before we can put that in our smoker. <laughs> Baird, I do want to note something about the design of the hive. Look at the shading. Yeah. At that angle, there's lots of shade, but it's still in direct sunlight. This is south. So, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Alright. I love you, bees. See you later. Have fun. <laughs> Barrett. That's a good day of beekeeping. Yeah. I think we accomplished a good bit. Mm -hmm. I think we solved one of the little puzzles about the feeders and we got the box out, which I'm still glad we left in. I was a little nervous about reaching in there, in there and grabbing it out, but it worked out and uh, still haven't gotten stung. Man. I don't even, you know, I don't even work. It's funny because when, when you're in the heat of the moment, you don't think about it. You're just thinking about reaching in, you know, touching it in the right place, pulling it out without killing any bees, you know? And so it's almost like, can they sense your intent? <laughs> I don't know, maybe they can. But I do want to thank Derek Forrester, um, a local beekeeper. Well, he's in Rising Fawn. Uh, he has um, Forrester Farms apiaries. And uh, just a quick shout out to him. I was a little upset yesterday because I came and I, I didn't think the bees were doing that well, so I opened the hole up against advice. Uh, and he said it was okay. Um, the, the, what I was worried about, and maybe I'll show that video at some point of me, I about cried, but uh, I thought I had, you know, was gonna basically kill the bees inside the uh, hive. So I, I opened the hole, I, I thought, if the bees are gonna die, they're gonna die free. <laughs> they're not gonna die on my account, uh, which, anyway so anyway i called him and he made me feel better about it and he's actually going to come and take a look at him at some point when he's not so busy hmm. uh, it's there his busy season too and uh but if you need uh woodware uh he he makes uh at forester uh farms is that what it's called barrett let me make sure it's called uh, his name is derek e forester he's on facebook and he has uh for forester farms Happy Aries, and he's in Rising Fawn, Georgia. And um, if you need it, beehives, you know, supplies, check him out and uh, thank him for helping, <laughs> making me feel better. So, anyway, Barrett, you ready? Yep. You forgot the guitar. You know what? Who was it said, um, was it Dale? Dale said, uh, truck tar. That's what you call a guitar. Oh, that's what he said. <laughs> I read that and my brain did not put that together. I know. I was like, what is that? I did not know what and, that was. And I was like, that's pretty cool. We need, we need a truck tar in the back window. All right, guys. See ya. <laughs>
Nice.